the Dear You Project. Dear you. Vulnerability. Release. Honesty. Claim your truth. Mental health and wellness. The Dear You Project. Dear you. Follow your dream. Dear you. Everyone has a story. Well, listen. And every story is a You have the power. The Dear You Project. Dear you. Tell your story. I am PJ Ryan. Am PJ Ryan. This is the Dear You Project. The Dear You Project. Dear you Project. Dear you Project. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Welcome back to another episode of the Dear You Project. I am your host, PJ Ryan. And in the studio today, we have a very good friend of mine, like extremely good friend of mine, Leslie St. Julian. I said it right, right? You did. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) She is a proud black woman, and she is here to share her story. Hey, Leslie. Hey. (laughs) I'm so happy to have you here in the studio. I'm so happy to finally make it home. This is home. This feels like home right here, right now. Mm. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Uh, full disclosure, guys. So Leslie was also <laughs> supposed to be part of the original pack of um, of the Dare You Project. And, you know, the universe does what it does and it <laughs> moves in the time that it's supposed to move. And I believe right now this moment is the time that we're actually supposed to do this. And the energy that we have with each other yeah. uh, is amazing. I met this beautiful young lady. How, how long has it been? I want to say a year because a year no, ago no, we, I no. was in Maryland. It, it was before a year because we Bef- did we did power season five. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so towards that was the winter uh, midway into the beginning of season five filming. So, uh, uh, twenty seventeen. I think it was twenty sixteen yeah, actually. Uh, Yes, I yes. Think it was 2016 because it aired and then 2017. It aired and we had to wait a whole year to see ourselves. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, so yes. I, oh, I, my I goodness. Met this, I met this beautiful young lady Ooh, on, this, on, on the set of Power. Um, and, <laughs> you know, energy is what it does. It just it attracts yeah. good people to you, you know. Oh, my. Yes. And then we did a show together. Yes. Which was amazing. That's it. <laughs> you know, we'll just leave it there. Yes. <laughs> Check off the list. <laughs> okay, and yeah, so and it's just, it's just, I just love seeing you because you also your smile is just oh, amazing. So it's like it's already yeah. making me smile as no. big as I am. <laughs> so let's see. Okay. Tell the world about you. Who you be? Okay, so as you stated, you know, I am a proud black woman. I am just um, kind of a just a follower of God's spirit. Mm-hmm. Okay. He speaks to me. He orders my steps and that is my compass. Mm-hmm. That's the only way I make it in life. I do have a number of gifts. Okay. That God has given me and has taken me some time to figure out what they were mm-hmm. and why I had them and what I was supposed to do with them. Take your time. So who is Leslie? Leslie is just someone who loves to love Mm. and that's as simple as it's going to be i'm from brooklyn shout out shout out brooklyn brooklyn (laughs) you know born and raised (laughs) yes and i'm just so happy to be home um i keep saying this because this is the place that made me the woman i am today i was birthed from haitian parents they came here migrated in the early early top of the 70s um to make a way for themselves Mm. to find a better life and then Uh, My parents gave birth to myself and my other sibling, my sister. And that is our family. That was our unit. And it was hard growing up 70s, 80s in Brooklyn, New York. But here I am today. I survived it and I consider myself a survivor. And um, I'm just so proud. I had to come back home. I was away for a while in Maryland, not locked up. Praise the Lord. <laughs> That's the way you said it. You're like, but, you were doing a you know, bit somewhere. I was, away, no, no. I was away and I went to explore the world a little bit. and um, But I boomeranged right back. And here I am after 22 years. Okay. Um, but I never lost touch. It's like uh, the saying goes, you could take somebody out of Brooklyn, but you could never take Brooklyn out of me. Um, but I was missing something. I was missing my roots. I was missing my um, passion. I was also forgetting 
forgetting a little bit about what it felt like to be here, to grind, to hustle. New Yorkers have it very hard. Yeah, as glamorous hustle. and fun as it is, you know, you it's the hustle. concrete jungle, you know, dreams are made here, but it really is hard in New York City. And I needed to come back to be grounded mm-hmm. right where I came up. So I'm here. I am an actress. I am an author. I am a poet. Come I am through. a writer. Come with the I am. <laughs> I like, am a dancer. Okay. I'm an artist mm. at, in every sense of the word. But most of all, I am God's child. I am his daughter and I am his light. And I want to constantly keep that light bright. Mm. So that is what I'm here to do is to give him glory with everything that I do and everything that I say. So I just hope to anyone who's listening that um, if anything they gather from this is that they know that I love the Lord. <laughs> Amen. And wait, so. so let me just, this is also, I want to give you a, a little <laughs> sl- snippet of the character of the one that's sitting across from me right now, right? <laughs> so we're not going to go into any further detail or any full detail, but there was, a, you know, the show um, and there was, you know, some issues, you know, when it came down and, you know, pay being paid. Mm-hmm. Um, and the person, the, the person in charge of the show said, well, I'll pay you half, you know, this time and I'll pay you half another time. And her response was just as simple as, well, I didn't give you half my performance. <laughs> That is right. My whole self came up in here, so my whole self wants a whole check. Okay. Okay. And, and we as we as black people need to understand that we deserve whole, Absolutely. not half, not seventy five percent, not sixty mm. percent, not ninety nine percent, but a hundred percent. That's deep. Okay. And everything. And everything. Friendships, relationships, and connections. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Wholeness. Yes. Every Absolutely. Single bit of it. Mm-hmm. So all right. So let's get a. A quick little silly icebreaker. Okay. This is a question I ask everybody. Okay. And everybody chooses whatever it is. <laughs> um, if you had a superpower, what would it be and why? Ooh, if I had a superpower, honestly, <laughs> it would be to be invisible. Mm. Why? Because I do want to be a fly on that wall and just wonder what people are really thinking. And that's because I've been walking so long trying to really, really see myself outside of myself. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the hardest things to do. That's self-reflection. And this here, this show, what you're doing is a reflective therapy because Mm -hmm. whoever, I won't let, you know, spoil you what it is you're about to introduce, but whoever you're writing to or speaking to, it's a it's an opportunity to reflect. And I have found it so hard to know myself and mm. I want to know what people are thinking mm. and what they're saying. We're not supposed to care. Right. That's mm. what we're taught. It don't matter what people think. It don't matter what people say. But sometimes we're so into ourselves that we are in denial of who we really are. Right. And it's hard to, when you finally know yourself, oh my God, the love is real. Mm-hmm. And that's where it starts. It starts with you. And I want to learn how to love me better because mm-hmm. I, I keep stumbling on that same pebble. Mm-hmm. And God will let you do that over and over and over until, until you get it right. Is and I'm finally at the, okay, it's me. Mm-hmm. It is me but I don't know still what it is. So Mm. I'm going to figure it out. So if I could be, if I can have a superpower, it would be to be invisible and to be silent. Ooh. Oh, that. So my father (laughs) always used to say this. um, um, (laughs) Silence is wisdom. That's actually going to be one of the next tattoos I get on my body. Mm. Right. Just haven't decided really when <laughs> because there you know i was gonna get one about my grandmother and Aww. you know something else, else that she used to say i still just can't pinpoint what i wanted to say but i just know it's gonna have a hummingbird mm. um but silence is wisdom as i've gotten older understanding what that really means like sometimes you just just to be quiet mm-hmm. the world is so loud mm-hmm. and, and when you add to that noise mm. Nothing gets clear. Nothing makes sense. Mm-mm. But when you're quiet, then you listen, and then you're, you 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 start to understand more. Mm. You start to see people for who they are, what they are, when they are, why they are, you know, and mm-hmm. how they are, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, and sh- sh- where they are. That's the main thing. You get to see them for where they are in their mm-hmm. life, in their in journey, their in their walk. Important. You know, and 
shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just learned more so how to be quiet. So yeah. I appreciate you even saying yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's silence see. Speaks. Mm-hmm. It, it, silence gets so loud. Mm-hmm. Um, Selena Johnson is one of my favorite artists. Okay. And she had this little, um, I, I don't know what you would call it. I wouldn't say it's like a, it's a reverb, but okay. it's just... There's so much, it's, it's so much noise in the silence, so mm-hmm. much noise in the silence, there's so mm-hmm. much noise in the silence. Mm-hmm. And, you know, in, in these reflective times, mm-hmm. just like being mm-hmm. quiet, sometimes mm-hmm. I understand why I used to like always have music on in mm-hmm. my house because silence is just, oh, it's so loud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but you can't learn mm-hmm. until you listen. Until you listen, absolutely. Okay, all right, so yes! Yeah. <laughs> Leslie's in the studio, guys. Yay. I'm so excited about this, I'm so... I'm, I'm doing the Nene in my chair. She mm. actually mm. really is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing our version of the Nene, you know, yes. like, you know, in our generation, you know, you youngins. I know, <laughs> it's so true. Um, let's see, um, a good question. Okay. <clears throat> Writing this letter, what do you feel before we even get into it? Do you feel it, it it manifested within you? Oh, very much so. Now I didn't write it straight through. Mm-hmm. I wrote it in parts over days, weeks, months. However long it takes. <laughs> I'd write a few lines, put it away, and then um not think about it and come back to it. And um it definitely was um something that was needed to be to be done mm-hmm. and I did um, learn more about the person that mm-hmm. I'm writing, who I'm writing to, yeah. um, in the process, and it, it was definitely uh, a revelation for me. Okay. So, I think everybody should write a damn letter. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it, I, everybody should, and you know, I, I, this was birthed out of rejection. Mm. You know, and how I felt when. Um, I was going to work with on another show with uh, myself and a co-host. Mm. We had a music idea and we were going to do a show about music mm. and everything was going great. And then next thing you know, he like bailed. Mm. And it was because of things were going so well for him. And then where I was at that time during my hot boy summer mm-hmm. <laughs> not the hot boy summer <laughs> didn't necessarily align <laughs> with who he was or what he wanted so okay. it made me have to reflect you know about well what's wrong with me mm. you know and I, I I took blame to that and then I had to I make this idea of well then who the hell am I mm-hmm. and I just started writing stuff down and then I just thought about like everyone should actually take some time to, to write to whoever it is that you need to write to mm-hmm. um, that's one of the births of, of this mm-hmm. this whole project and mm-hmm. since then I've just loved experiencing when someone comes into the studio and mm-hmm. is willing to share their soul mm-hmm. and to not just share it to get it off of their shoulders but to share it in the hopes that what they're saying can mm-hmm. help somebody else, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and that's the main goal for this whole entire project. I support this mission, this goal. I'm all for it. It's necessary. Um, even if um, one never decides to share the letter, mm-hmm. it helps to put it in front of you mm-hmm. and read it out loud. Um, that's part of uh, packaging your pain properly. That's mm. I don't want to plug something that I'm working on, but mm-hmm. I am writing something. It's okay. And that, that's, Move in silence. That's, Remember, yes, silence is loud. <laughs> that's that's part of the process of uh-huh. properly packaging your pain is is um, reading only the facts or just telling yourself the truth out loud. Sometimes mm-hmm. just hearing something back to yourself um, after you've written it down mm-hmm. and then you read it, you see it and then hear it. Mm-hmm. It makes all the difference in the world because our minds could go in so many different directions. Child, yeah, you're right. And we process it so many different ways. But when we just put it in plain black and white on paper and just read it, mm-hmm. um, we can take things differently. We can take words apart and actually focus on really what's happening. What What is this really about? Mm-hmm. So I, I, writing for me, being a writer, it, this was, um, I thought this would be easy for me. I'm like, oh, I'm a writer. I have to write a letter. Psh, no problem. I write. This is what I do. Mm-hmm. It was very hard it's to do this. It's people think. It it's was hard to, to think. think, think about what to say. And it's so personal. Mm. And that's what made it hard. So... I'm so glad I got this letter out. It was like writing a paper for school. Like, oh my gosh, the Uh, deadline is coming. I'm uh, still writing this paper. But it was good. 
and I'm glad it's I did it. All right, so we're gonna um, we're gonna segue into it, uh, okay. but before we do, okay, um, the question I ask everybody else, um, you know, the, the the way I feel about music itself, music is therapy. Music ties everything together, every emotion, every every experience we've ever experienced um, can usually be tra- traced back to a song. Yes. Um, do you have a song that either sets the tone or sets how you were feeling when you wrote it mm-hmm. or a- after you wrote it, how you felt? Or, you know, if mm-hmm. you, when you read this letter, what song comes to mind? Um, it's a song by Whitney Houston. Come through, One Whitney. of the greatest. The and, greatest. <laughs> and it's called um, I Love the Lord. Uh-huh. And this is Gospel Whitney. Uh, not, I want to dance with somebody, Whitney. Uh-huh. And the, just the very few, um, the intro of it is, I love the Lord. He heard my cry. Uh-huh. And I spent a lot of days crying. Um, but one thing I I always knew was that he was listening, even in my silence that uh-huh. I'm practicing. He's always listening. Uh-huh. And his response is always the same. It never changes. Uh-huh. He's so consistent. And I haven't been consistent with God, but I love him. And that is a song that just resonates with me. It sets the tone for this letter. Everything that I'm talking about um, is going to uh, connect. You'll Mm -hmm. see why. But I Love the Lord is the title of the song. It's by Whitney Houston. I love that song. And I love her and miss her so much. Uh, (laughs) All right, guys. So... Pull up a chair, you know, light a candle, get some tea or whatever, you know, beverage of choice that you would like to have. And let's take a listen to Leslie's letter. Okay. Dear you, I pray this message finds you well. This is the first time in all the years you've been around that I am finally getting to know you. I wanted to take a moment to tell you how much you mean to me. I'm still learning about you and trying to understand your many ways and how you have managed to be so strong. But there are days where sometimes the sky seems to have reached its limit and all the stars that are aligned in it are disconnecting me from the person who I thought you'd be. There are some days when the path I see you walking on seems long and weary, and the day-to-day hours spent with you seem dark and dreary. But gratefulness shines through your eyes every morning as you refuse to let go of the hope that you know God has promised to you. I see the resilience in the balance of your steps as you carefully take them over and over, having been knocked down time after time, standing tall after each fall, refusing to settle, staring fear in its face because you know you walk with grace. I'm yearning to keep learning from you. And this desire is the very fire under my feet that has helped me to get to know you better. I'm intrigued by your strength. I never knew what strong was until I watched you be just that. At times you may have felt like you were left without a voice, but to quit on yourself has never been your choice because you always knew that your silence would speak louder than any thunder ever roared. I heard you loud and clear through every tear that's ever poured out from your soul. Truth were being told by them. Until you became old enough to learn what to say, thank God someone had been praying for you every day because subliminally God entered into your heart and it became evident to you that this love is in every tentacle of your being and that's what sets you apart from you. It is your compass as you navigate through life. 
God's love has helped you to understand the truth of who you are, because of your ability to love, dear, you understand that. You understand that you are not perfect. You are not the best. You are not free from error. You don't always know what to say or what to do. You don't know all of the answers. You don't have to be right all of the time. You can be wrong. You can be afraid. You don't always have to be strong. You can cry. You are not a victim. You are a survivor. You can be happy to be free. You can surely live your dreams and be anything, anything you want to be. You can sing, you can write, you can dance, you can speak in more than one tongue and to the mountains in your life and demand them to move. You are saved by his grace. You are made in his image. You are covered by his blood. You are wrapped in his arms and kept in the hollow of his hands. You are blessed. Dear you, I know that you are well. I've seen you and watched you all of your life. I'm so happy to finally say that I know you better. I'm glad to see that you turned out to be even more amazing than I imagined you would be. I feel so blessed to have you as a friend. Dear you, I just want you to know that if no one has ever told you because they haven't. Remember that God has always showed you. I love you because he loved you first. Love me. (sighs) Oh, Lord. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> yes. I feel like I need to say this to myself every morning. <laughs> I let me tell you how listening to it Ooh. um even the second time uh, that's a monologue waiting to happen. That's a story. That's 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 a that's a story. That's a yeah. that's a an experience mm. that um anybody and everybody can feel. Mm-hmm. Um, that was beautiful. Thank Simply, you. thank you, thank you for beautiful. making this making this all happen. I wouldn't have done this, you know, if you didn't have that. If you didn't listen, mm-hmm. you know, to the voice uh, that was coming to you to tell you to do this. So, and look at how it came about. It was, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't seen. It didn't exist, but it came into fruition after one situation had to take place. Mm-hmm. So everything happens really and truly for a reason. Every single, the, the, the universe is not, yeah. universe, God, no your accidents. faith, whatever it is that you believe, it, mm-hmm. it, it, everything does what it's supposed to do mm-hmm. and don't fight it. Mm-hmm. At the time it's supposed to happen. Uh-huh. Yeah, everything. And, so, and yeah. what happens is a lot of times I think we, we end up trying to fight it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's where the, the struggle really happens because Absolutely. you're fighting what is for you and mm-hmm. what is not for you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. yes oh, i just <laughs> i see how you got i love the lord with that I, yeah I, I, yeah oh, um yeah if you oh, i wish i could sing now i cannot sing see, <laughs> singing was on that list was everybody not, can sing right everybody can sing everybody can sing. everybody I, can. I can sing in my heart yeah everybody can <laughs> sing um you know it's just everybody it's just how you sing yeah. And who you sing to? to. <laughs> okay, I know. Look, I I know my limitations, right? <laughs> okay, and I know that I'm a I'm a good bottom note. <laughs> yes. So I'll help tie everything together. Please don't give me a solo. Not <laughs> okay, again. I you. did it once. <laughs> I, it, I felt so embarrassed, but uh, that letter. Um, <sighs> I okay. So when I listen to it, um. I don't know. I got. There's this song um, from Leona Lewis um, Mm -hmm. called Fire. I love her too. And she's a song. I got fire under my feet. 
I got soul in my. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't you feel. I, I don't know the lyrics at the mm-hmm. present time, but that's what you were. I was. That's what I heard. Mm-hmm. And that song saying she got fire under her feet. She's 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 moving. She's mm-hmm. pushing herself through. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing that you or anybody else can say to get me through to what I need to get to. That's the, that's that's what I heard when that's I was it. listening. That's okay, it. that's Boom. it. That's uh-huh. exactly how I feel. That's how I feel every day. And it's hard to go into a, a space. You know, it, it, I'm still living the traditional American life, right? I have to go somewhere, clock in and mm. be someone's, you know, person mm. without using the word slave, but be theirs for mm. eight hours and then come home because I'm trying to survive so I can do what I know God wants me to do. Mm. And there's a fire under me that as soon as I wake up, I want to do all the things he's put inside of me mm-hmm. all day, all the time. <laughs> but I'm getting there slowly. I'm going to see if I can find that song. But fire is, is a symbolism have you, have you heard, of him. Have you heard that song? Mm-mm, I can pull it up. I'm not sure right now. But that's God's fire. He's 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 like he's got me like wanting to move and run. So much more, but every day I feel closer and closer to it. Yeah. It's called fire under my feet. Mm. Mm. Yes. Under my feet. The song is amazing. I feel it in my heartbeat. I got fire under my feet and I feel it in my heartbeat. I feel it all over my soul. Oh, every, Everywhere. Uh, so, obviously, uh, listening to you at the end, uh, so that letter was written to which version of yourself? Ooh. Which version of me? The It was written to the purest of me. It was written to the artist, uh, Leslie the artist who I was born to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it wasn't written to Leslie, the friend or the sister or the auntie. Mm-hmm. Um, it was written to all of the gifts inside of me. And that's who I really am. And I bring it in everywhere that I go, even though I work a regular nine to five, everybody knows who I, who I really am. Mm-hmm. They know oh, I act, I write, I'm a poet, you know, anytime there's a creative uh, component for work, like mm-hmm. call Leslie, let her, let her visualize, let her write it, let her draw it, let her uh, sing it. Maybe she'll rap it, you know, uh, uh. Um, but I am a creative being. It's just how God made me. This is how I breathe, how I feel, mm-hmm. how I think, how I, how my heart works. Mm-hmm. It's just so, it's 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 the artist, and I I look at everything as so artistically beautiful. Even love, even relationships. I think there's an art to it. There's a puzzle to it, and mm-hmm. I want to figure it out so that it can be a beautiful mosaic that I can hang on the wall. And that's who I wish to be paired with someone who can just understand me. Mm-hmm. And that person who is going to be my partner will be a part of this beautiful mosaic. Mm-hmm. They have to know their position on like. This, in this framework mm-hmm. and I am um, just that was who I spoke to the artist the true me mm-hmm. the true version of me <laughs> and you know you you yeah. like you brought up you brought up one word in that letter tentacle mm-hmm. and that, that that's what I think most of us artists, we, we consider ourselves like a, a version of an octopus or a yes, squid with I all these different that. tentacles that do <laughs> all these exactly different imagine. things at once and yes. try to move at the same time mm-hmm. you know um And all of those pieces make up the whole Mm -hmm. octopus. And I see that. I see these, like, so many limbs um, that are more than my two arms and my my legs and feet. Mm -hmm. I just see more to me. That's that. There is more to you. Yeah. There's more and to you than so meets hard. the eye. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh, so, all right. So let's break this letter down. Okay. Um, you ready? I'm ready. I am. Huh. What have you learned the most about yourself? Ooh, that I am impatient. Uh. That is, um, I was in denial about that. Mm -hmm. Um, for a long time um, with just anything um, being uh, wanting to be good at something and not giving myself time to to learn to get better to practice I've been like that since elementary school Um, I I just don't have any patience for anything for for learning something getting instructions Mm -hmm. I don't listen I don't listen and that is anyone who's listening to me out there would say yep you don't listen Leslie you talk a lot Mm-hmm. You do. And I was in denial of that. And so that has to do with my patience. 
Yeah, I, I, I can, I can, I can definitely. Um, I'm not gonna say I agree because no, as far true. as when it, when it comes to you, <laughs> but I know that feeling as far as not listening. And you know, we were talking about this earlier, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, 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 I'm, yeah, I'm sitting here like shaking my head, like yeah, mm-hmm. I've learned that. Um, I'm impatient and I'm still practicing it. Question: Do you think that that has anything to do with being first generation? Um, I don't know. I just what it has to do with I know how great great can be great mm-hmm. can might feel I know what I come from knowing my history my roots our ancestry mm-hmm. knowing how rich of a people we are uh-huh. and I'm so intolerant and impatient with why I haven't I haven't been I'm not further along mm-hmm. than where I need to be and I'm impatient with people that don't try I don't have patience for that I'm I just I'm if you just, keep if you keep speaking to my soul right now, <laughs> okay. I am just like the frustration I, level, like just, flames, yes. like flames I on just, the side of my um, face. Just <laughs> I know it comes from just knowing too much because I uh, my parents educated me on blackness mm-hmm. and from birth I knew the history of Haiti I knew what happened on January 1st 1804 at the age of 7 I could recite the history of how the revolt took place and led to the independence and the uh, black people freeing themselves from mm-hmm. slavery I knew that as a child and so knowing who I am and knowing who we are is very important Extremely and it, important. it really is instrumental to the, the type of person we'll be in the kind of life we will have because it is a choice mm-hmm. how we will have our lives mm-hmm. God has planned for us to be well mm-hmm. and if we are not that is something that we are doing wrong right yeah yes yes that's it I mean <laughs> it is it I, I, I mean because <laughs> if 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 just listening to you, if yeah. and I, I, number one, I already know the passion that you have for everything mm-hmm. that you do because you're amazing. Oh, God, you are that's good. no, you are amazing. <laughs> okay, and that ain't mm. that ain't nothing but the gift mm. coming straight through you. I've mm. seen you perform. Mm. I've seen I've seen you be the Amen. only one to know everything that you need to know and mm. be prepared. Mm. And that's the that's the importance cuz again yes. as you said before if you if you didn't get something that's because you weren't prepared. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got my hands raised and everything. Um you mentioned it in reference about disconnecting from the person um that you thought you'd be. Yes. How do you how do you feel that? Yeah. That impacted you. A lot. It's helped me. Um, I was holding on to a dream, a vision that wasn't mine, a picture that was painted for me a long time ago of who I would be at this point in my life, Mm -hmm. where I would be, married with kids, a Mm -hmm. mother, running a household, being a lawyer, uh, saving the kids of the community. Um, A lot of things were put into my head, and I just believed them to be true and said okay this is what I'm supposed to be because that's what everybody thinks and I'm just going to make everybody happy and that's not who I am that's not where I want to be and I've let go of the idea of of myself being uh, mother wife um, head of household running a family I want to run um, a family in a different sense and that family being my people my community my my brothers and sisters that is where I'm supposed to be that's the head of that household that I am um, I believe I was called to be a part of a network of, of mothers who are going to help to bring us back to uh, love back to the foundation of which, mm-hmm. whence we've come from from the hands that made us and I think I'm supposed to be doing that I know I know that I'm supposed to be uh, a mother in that sense so when I say I'm, I was disconnected of, uh, from the person who I thought I would be that's who I thought I would be and that's I'm not that person and I'm finally realizing that and it's great when you realize that and then that you don't have to be that person. Exactly. Because that's what was told to you. Mm-hmm. And what's told to you is not always right. Exactly. For you. Right. And it took getting mm-hmm. to know myself and silencing all the other voices. Because nobody knows what's for me. Nobody knows God's plan but God. Mm-hmm. And and my relationship, my life path is between me and him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very sacred. Um, I was just at a wedding this past weekend. And one of the things the pastor was saying as he was officiating the wedding was that marriage is sacred. And the third strand being God uh, is all, all of the parts and the players. So that unity between two people 
is just between those two people. If they can't figure it out, they need to talk to God about it. Mm-hmm. And if they can't hear from God, they need to go to someone who is of, who's godly or a pastor and get help. But nonetheless, you keep it sacred mm-hmm. and and um, and listen to what he's telling you because God always tells us the answers. He always tells us what to do. It's it. He'll just he's just sitting there waiting for us, just mm-hmm. watching us fall. Mm-hmm watching us make choices that mm-hmm. he told us not to do or do and we're still sometimes trying to navigate by ourselves when we realize we have help he's there mm-hmm. and so I'm um, sorry I go on and on that's okay don't apologize don't apologize <laughs> at all because you know I'm, I'm sitting here listening and I, yeah. you know, and I pray and I hope that everybody else is sitting here doing the same thing at the edge of this seat I hope like, so too okay. I hope so too and for those those who haven't or aren't I suggest that you <laughs> get on it right 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 it's so important so um yeah i i know who i am now and now i can really focus on doing the daggone assignment that god has put me on mm-hmm. that i've wasted time mm-hmm. you know i may i um we do we're not perfect we do stumble and we do get in our own way and we can mess up the course mm-hmm. that's laid out for us because we're trying to do our own thing and you brought that up just like you better see i love it when the segues <laughs> just come so naturally i love it um but it, the, the importance of having that resilience when you get knocked down Mm -hmm. and being able to understand that, yo, get up, Mm -hmm. get up, Mm -hmm. get up. You still have life. You know, for real, you're breathing, get up, you know, and not too long ago, I mean, I, yeah, as a person who suffers from like manic depression and myself, mm. you know, going through things like that, it's hard sometimes to pull yourself from by your bootstraps and get Mm -hmm. up, you know, Mm -hmm. especially if you don't have, uh, that, uh, foundation Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of, love mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know i walk into the studio today and they're like oh well, you just say hello to everybody i was like well everyone is a human being they all deserve to say hi a, a, a hello mm-hmm, you know it's, absolutely it's, it's, they're breathing bring, bring it back to love lead right. with jennifer lewis said you mm-hmm. know um and she, that's that's my my one of my idols mm-hmm. to lead with love mm-hmm. in everything that you do mm-hmm. and you can't go wrong Mm-hmm. But yeah, Amen, Amen. I love it. This is so true. Okay, um, you also mentioned about refusing to settle. Yes. Ooh. Where do you feel that you settled? What happened? <sighs> I did. Or what didn't happen? I settled time and time again with letting um, friendships take place that didn't need to be friendships. Mm. Um, but every person who's entered my life has taught me a lesson if you there's one thing i can say if you don't grow from a situation whether the person was a waste of your time or not Mm. if you have not grown then you have not not learned the lesson that was placed for you to learn and you will do it again i you will do it again and so i had settled i i settled on job career choices sitting in a job for longer than i need to grateful for the experience and the opportunity definitely sharpened up my resume but I didn't have to spend 17 years in the federal government when I knew that I was an artist. Okay. I would have been further along, but God let me stay there because he was just going to wait for me to figure it out. Mm-hmm. And the minute I stepped out on faith and walked away, mm-hmm. every door that I have knocked on, he has opened. Wide and I open. said, my, mm-hmm. my, my. Why didn't I do this a long time ago? So I did settle. I settled on relationships, being partnered with people that did not deserve my love, period. And that's all I would say. That's settling. Settling in a, in a, um, for having mediocre life, uh, um, a mediocre, um, a mediocre life, not expecting more or not mm-hmm. hoping to have more. Complacency. You know? And this isn't about riches and monetary things. I'm talking about money or wealth or, or labels or brands, but just being so... I'm sometimes I'm too humble. Like, okay, let's you really you could you could treat yourself a little bit more than this. Mm-hmm. You don't really have to eat ramen noodles every night. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I, good. you can. Sometimes it's good. You add some vegetables to it, a little bit of chicken. No, but we yes. black folks do. We make everything. You <laughs> saw that. You saw that sauce. little. You saw that picture that was going around with the little with the little shrimp yes. that was outside of but, the. But um, uh-huh. just just being allow allowing yourself to be good to you, and I tend to settle for just um, the bare minimum when I deserve more. If especially Especially if I've worked hard enough, um, I've I've done my part I'm and a, I'm I've given cut. my best. I'm gonna interrupt that one. I want you to just say that again. Yes. This is not a cut, but mm-hmm. I want you to re- repeat. I mean, replace the I tend mm-hmm. to because that's present. 
Ah, okay. And speak that in past tense. Okay. Because for I you, used to. Right. Because you don't do that anymore. <laughs> exactly. You're right. And this is where gratefulness is so Thank important. You. You got, yeah. See, we, you know, words of power. We got to speak what we got to speak stuff right. as though it is true. I used to settle for things. Mm-hmm. I don't anymore. Mm-hmm. And um, I know what I deserve. I know my worth. Mm-hmm. That is important. And I you know. You did not get half of a performance I, from me. So I want right. the whole check. <laughs> that's right. And when I give you my whole heart, it's for real when I put my heart into something it's because I know I know that I want the results to be great mm-hmm. and so I don't do that anymore I don't settle for anything less and I don't expect mediocrity from anybody mm-hmm. when I know you can be better mm-hmm. even if I don't know you from a can of paint okay I push people I'm like you can do better you can dig deep Come back, turn around, come back to me when you're ready. Dig deeper. <laughs> Dig, if a Goli Cosby Show fans knows yes. what that is. Dig deeper. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, what, when, when, when this, like, epiphany, mm-hmm. like, really happened, like, mm-hmm. can you recall a time, like, when it, or, like, a moment for Ooh, you yeah. when you just, like, woke up and said, thank you, God, and then it just, it just, it was revealed to you? Oh, my um, with my very last relationship, I, that's when it came to me. I can take uh, a beating for a while. When I say a beating, not a physical beating, but I can be um, stu- uh, stubborn. I can I can be stubborn, and I could take pain for a long time before I finally say, "Ouch, okay, that hurts. That's enough." Mm-hmm. And this was my enough. This is really it. It took me a really long time. I almost said how old I was, but that many years on this earth. I mean, you already said you were here in the 70s, so, yeah, so. you know. <laughs> we just yeah, ain't gonna tell you what number. So, right. Um, but I have figured it out, and I have realized that this Wait, you're not, I'm older than you. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't sure. think so. <laughs> Go ahead. This is enough. So, um, but yeah, my epiphany moment was um, at the end of my relationship when I ended something that was a little bit toxic mm. and and I still wanted to hold on. I still wanted to help because I am a lover. I am a oh helper. God. I am a giver. I am selfless so much all the time. This is who I am. Mm-hmm. I can't help it. If there's one gift that I could take away <laughs> would be that I am so, de- you know, to, to be a little bit less kind, to be a little tougher. <laughs> but I don't know that that's what God wants. You I mean, know? we just was having this conversation. <laughs> you didn't even tell me that it was so similar. Like, it's, it's Very I, much. you know, and it's so sad when you, yeah. when you care. Yes. Yeah. And th- reciprocation. Yeah. You know, we expect to, there's this whole idea of loving people unconditionally. Mm. And I keep telling people that the only person who can love, the only entity that can love you unconditionally is God. Mm-hmm. Because with people, there comes conditions. Yeah. You treat me right, I treat you right. Correct. You start f- f- going against these conditions, and boo boo, guess what? Bye bye. Correct. You know, and yes, uh, yes. So toxicity, that's exactly like letting it go is yeah, like it's, important. It's not. It's not healthy. Mm-hmm. Andrea Wise Brown. She's somebody that I follow on Instagram. I met her by chance, and ooh, I'm gonna choke up. Mm, I don't want to. Don't want to cry. But um, she is um, a mental health. Um, professional Mm -hmm. and she teaches the practice that mental health is a lifestyle Mm -hmm. we should want to proper to practice good mental hygiene Mm -hmm. we want to be good to ourselves get our minds right and it's so important about who you let in and what you let in to your mind to your into your space Mm -hmm. and that can affect you for a long period of time and so I finally it, it just it just I'm just, I guess, how God designed me to just be so tough for so long. But I, everyone has a limit. And mm-hmm. I reached my limit. And I finally had my awakening in this last relationship to say, this is the last time, Leslie. This is it. Do not allow anybody to bring it to a point where you have given so much mm-hmm. and poured in so much into someone that you neglected yourself and I totally abandoned me Mm. I neglected me I didn't take care of me because I wanted to care so much for this person and I wanted to prove to this person how and who God was but it wasn't my job and I had to let that go and I will not do that again because it was tiring I'm finally tired (sighs) finally and that that is one I, I realized that this was it. 
Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 <laughs> oh God, I love it. I mean, I love it. The the idea of understanding that, you know, number one, you have to go through that. Like nobody's gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody everybody can tell you, you know, you this this ain't right for you. This ain't right for you. But until you come to that realization for yourself, mm -hmm. until you realize where your strengths are, mm -hmm. what is important to you, mm -hmm. what it is that you deserve, mm -hmm. the moment you know what you deserve is the moment that you start to say, uh-uh, this ain't, this, this, mm-mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. mm -mm. I'm so much stronger. It's really true, This that, that cliche saying that we always repeat, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Mm -hmm. Every year is like, ooh, I'm, I'm ready for the next year. Every day is awakening, but I feel so much tougher. Mm -hmm. What Leslie is not about this year is the bullshit. Okay. And I'm, yes. no, I'm sorry, I didn't know if I can curse or not, but uh, I do I not like have time times. for it. I don't have time mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. Don't waste my time. Keep it moving. Press the mess. Mm -mm. I don't and, have time for it. I don't even want to keep hawking on this, but it's just <laughs> like, you know, and even like uh, for, for me being um, single now for s this is the seventh year. Mm -hmm. And in this, you know, I did a two year about a celibacy and then I, you know, mm -hmm. did a hot boy summer. <laughs> then I did another two year about a celibacy yeah. and now I'm not doing it any. Well, I kind of am. But <laughs> okay. the idea of realizing at that moment, I'm not settling for anything else. And even though. This, these long years, you know, sometimes it can be a little lonely. You know, that's okay. But you the, know what you deserve. Exactly. And w when once the, the moment you get that feeling, like that's right. Uh -uh, this ain't mm -mm, no. Not you even are wasting precious. My time. You, yeah, you are worth something, mm -hmm. and that is what what you know what that worth is. Nobody else does, and you have to make them earn that. See, and then you answered that question just right then and there. So I'm not even going to ask that question because <laughs> okay. the question was, have you ever let anyone else make you feel like you had to give up? Oh wow. Mm -mm. And see, no, mm -mm. no, no, exactly. I just cut off. That, I, that's I give the, up. Bye. And you know, for a long period of time, I never really understood that whole like process or that thought of cutting, like blocking, like the, my block game is strong. The, I never oh, really. My, what? <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, before I didn't think that, you know, yeah. I think it was like almost like childish to, a, mm -hmm. to an extent. To, like I to, used to think that too. Like, why be that? Why do I have to go that far? Why does it have to be so extreme? But yeah. no, I have to close the door yeah. and seal it and nail it and put mm -hmm. all kinds of bars and barricades and <laughs> okay. barbed wire. You're and not coming through again. And all types of you everything. You are not welcome. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's it. Whatever it is, whether it's a it or a person or a situation, it could be drugs, it could be alcohol, whatever that's going to come in me to to manipulate me to mm -hmm. change me to mm -hmm. change me make me transform into something that I am not to something that I wasn't meant to be I'm getting rid of it oh my god you keep you keep doing this because <laughs> my next thing was about the idea of understanding the truth of who you are right you better keep going you better know how you See, wrote your the letter spirit, it's the spirit <laughs> it's the energy here. It's, it it's is. The, but it's so important because you have to know who you yeah, are yeah you have to you have to know who you are until you do you're going to be lost for a while mm -hmm. you may make decisions that are close to who you are but you have to be honest with yourself you can do that behind closed doors but mm -hmm. to be honest in public is one of the toughest things and many people can see right through you mm -hmm. and that's the thing with acting and I've been you know as I read through you know take my acting classes and read my acting books but one of the things about acting how it was defined to me is mm -hmm. that acting is believing mm -hmm. and is truly believing who you say you are. Mm -hmm. And if you believe yourself to be one way, that is how everyone's going to perceive it. Your audience is convinced. Mm -hmm. Your audience is, is convinced. If you believe you are weak, your audience will see a weak person walk through that door. Mm -hmm. If you are not weak, then don't act like it. Exactly. Period. <laughs> <laughs> okay bam all right and, so, and then there's, there's this idea also that you put in the letter in reference to um for me i translated it as perfection being a fantasy mm. because perfection we strive so hard to be air quotations perfect yes 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 and there's really no such thing no such thing Imperfectly perfect is perfect to me. Mm, yeah, yeah, you go. Look there how that you just go. came out. I just, and, and I, didn't, I didn't even stutter. <laughs> you you know? didn't. But it's it's it's. It is. Yeah, I when, am not perfect, mm -hmm. and I used to try so hard to be, and I don't anymore. But mm -hmm. I do know that I will do the best that I know that I can do with something, with anything, anything that I put give energy to. 
this moment when I'm, you know, spending time with you, sitting across from you, I want to give you my best. I want to give you my undivided attention. I want to answer every question. And I want to make sure that I, I am true and honest and pure. And I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. I, I feel every single bit of it with, with your <laughs> intense so, eye contact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, she's like, and I know, just, and, and, I that, know and that's, and that's, that's the yeah. great thing. Number one, because yeah. that's trust. That's trusting. That's, yes. that's trusting I want you to who feel you me. are. Yeah, the eyes are the spirit like, of the soul, right? And so yeah. I, I never, I never trust anybody, guys. Never trust anybody who can't look, look at you while they talk while what? they're talking to you. If they look away, they're searching for a lie or an answer somewhere. Uh, uh, and so uh, it's searching. So I, I just um, want to always be true, and I know that my answers are not going to be perfect mm-hmm. because I don't have to be because God already is, mm-hmm. and He made me. So I'm, I came from Him. So this is as good as it gets. Oh right, it, you know it's, it. it, it. <laughs> I, I am just loving this conversation so much. Too. I can't I'm even. It's such so much fun. Oh my god! Um, and then there was this thing that you, this also portion that you put in your letter um, about it's okay to be wrong. Mm-hmm. It's okay to be afraid. Mm-hmm. And I think most importantly, it is okay to cry. Oh yes. Yeah. So now that is something that's very important to me mm-hmm. um, because I am emotional. It is who I am. What you say? Leo. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm a lion. I just had a birthday last Monday and Happy belated. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And I I cry. I mm-hmm. cry and it annoys some people. It doesn't. Some people are like, Oh, that's okay. That's who I am. I've always been taught though that it's such a sign of weakness. Mm-hmm. And um I've been given direction, like stop crying. What are you crying about? There's no reason to cry. You know, you don't have you have to be strong. But why is crying not strong? And so I um don't listen to that anymore. Mm. And my my tears are my strength. Mm. Um, every time I cry, God hears me. They're liquid prayers is mm. what I call them. And it's a natural reaction that the body does to release um, to something. So it, it's okay to cry. Mm-hmm. And I've told myself that. And so I cry. And cry on. It's I mean, like healing. It's, um, uh. I think that everybody needs to let out at least one good cry, mm-hmm. whether it be monthly, mm-hmm. weekly, just, just whatever, it whatever. It just let it out, mm-hmm. like let it, and, and and not just like a tear here, like just a big old nasty, like <laughs> ugly, soft, cry. <laughs> ugly cry, you know? Um, yes. Because once you're done, then you get to see, like you know, mm-hmm. it's not as bad. Mm-hmm. It gets better. It mm-hmm. moves. I see what I did wrong. Let me see how I can fix that. Yeah, it's it's All these healing. Thoughts start to, it is. It, my yeah. grandfather always used to say, "And I'm strong. Uh, the, the strongest person in the room is the first person to cry." Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I never understood that because my grandfather was very stern and very like Iron Man is mm-hmm. actually what he called himself. Iron mm-hmm. Man made of steel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. But, when it was just him and I watching, like he used to love watching westerns, okay. and he would crack up, <laughs> dying laughing every single time I saw my got shot. <laughs> it was just, and I would be like, "Grandpa, why are you laughing?" Oh, and he was like, "I'm laughing because I don't want to cry." Oh. And he's like, "I'm crying, I don't want to cry, I don't want you to think that that's think." Well, he it, he had this backwards way of saying things, and then mm. it would just come back around. Mm. But if you feel the need to cry, it's okay, okay to cry. It's okay to cry. As I sat there sitting next to him, combing a Barbie doll. Right, so, you right. know, okay. my grandfather loved me, and I miss my grandfather so Aww. much. But, oh, I mean, and this, moves, and this moves right into the next thing. Like, um, the idea of it's okay. It, it's it, True happiness comes when you're free. Mm-hmm. Like, what's freedom for you? Ooh. What is freedom for me? Oh my goodness! Oh man, this is that's a, now I'm stumped. That's a tough. If you need some time to think about question. that, I, I mean, you know, take that, take that, let that what be homework. What is freedom? It could be homework, but um, this doing what I'm doing, doing what I love is freedom. Mm. And I love that I'm not at work today. It's my day off <laughs> from a job, <gasps> a right? Man. That thinks that they own me. <laughs> Even on my day off, you know, I'm getting emailed and pinged and called. I'm like, it's my day off. And then I get the, sorry to bother you. Enjoy your day off, you know? So freedom for me is doing what I love, doing um, what I want to do um, with the people that I care about or just spending time with me mm. and, and, and 
and tapping into all of my gifts. Mm -hmm. My freedom would be the day that I can get up every day and know that I have um, an opportunity to get on an agenda um, using the gifts that God has given me to do mm-hmm. one of these one of these great things acting you know writing um, hosting talking to youth going out and reaching out to to young kids and young girls and being a mentor being a voice being a role model those are the things that make me feel free mm-hmm. because I can help somebody helping anybody any way that I can is so like it makes me feel so good mm-hmm. and I know that that's what I'm here for Amen. So that's my freedom. Yeah, I can do you, better know, you better know your freedom. Yes, I know me. I'm just so happy that I'm knowing me. Mm-hmm. Did you, you have no idea how hard it's been to like know me and accept me. Mm-hmm. It's two different things. You can know yourself, but then you can not accept yourself. Some people m- may know that they are just, you know, a horrible person. <laughs> or maybe they know they're cranky, they're moody, mm-hmm. but they refuse to accept it and they're in denial. I know me very well, mm-hmm. very well, and mm-hmm. I accept who I am. You have to make people accept you for who you are. And it's okay. Yep, and it's okay. I mean, unless it's not okay, then you need to actually work on what you need well, to work yeah, on. yeah, I agree there. Let's, <laughs> let's clean that up. Let's not just be like, I'm evil and I'm, that's just it. Accept it's me. It's okay. I'm it, a it, racist and no, uh, take me for who I am. No. No, 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 but, but, but I need you to I do know better. why. <laughs> yeah, you right. know, learn. Yeah. Move with the times. Love is wonderful. <laughs> it needs to run the world. <laughs> it, 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 it really does. Like, I don't understand example a white woman Mm. uh overheard a conversation um, on the train right with just somebody else who was sitting next to me and it was actually a mexican uh, i'm not gonna say mexican but he was a hispanic person right and when he got the train i was like all right you have a good day brother she overheard that she's like well he's not your brother why would you i was like uh first of all mind your business (laughs) mind your business uh uh, mind your business (laughs) (laughs) go find yourself (laughs) and second of all like yeah Actually, we're all brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. We're all, we're all, um, again, like mm-hmm. however you see it, children of God, children of the universe, yeah, whatever yeah. it is, we're all connected. Absolutely. We are actually all connected. We, we all are. need each other in one For way, real. in yeah. one way, form or fashion. Absolutely. Now, you being a white woman, white. I mean, yeah, I may not, you know, feel the same way, but I'll still say, have a good day. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I'll say, have a good day, sister, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> lady, lady, <laughs> my lady. Yes. But, you know, I mean, but he was brown. He was melanated. Is that he, yeah, well, you know. He had melanin. Yeah, and I I do... White women are the only people I don't say <laughs> sister to because that is very... That is that is very descriptive to me. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll call a white man. Okay, brother. I'll do that. But white woman, I just can't say, okay, sister. I just, it's just, it's just not, it's okay. just not in my loins for let's me to do. Sister. Okay, we're going to dissect that. Okay. <laughs> my therapist going to be like, yeah, let's break this down a little bit. As her being a white woman. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know something yeah. like you mentioned in before as well um as well um demanding mm. these mountains to move yes because we have the power to do that okay it's written and that is all uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is it and that is all but we have to we have to demand our situations to be what we want them to be we can't be mad if the things don't turn out if we didn't do our part Mm -hmm. we can't expect people to be mind readers Mm -hmm. you want something you have to speak Mm -hmm. just like what's that a closed mouth doesn't get fed Mm -hmm. you have to ask for it (laughs) say something I don't know what's going on don't expect me to figure it out no you spell it out and so if you don't want a situation to be your situation make it no more Mm -hmm. either you walk away or you tell it to leave somebody's gotta close the door be straightforward and not passive Aggressive. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. it. That's it's, it's, it. It's, it's, it's so mountains are there. They're blocking you from where you need to be. You're not seeing the sunrise. You're not seeing the clouds. You're not seeing things. It's a blockage. So you must tell the mountain to move, or you move away from the mountain. Go, go around it. Climb over it. You can't go through it, but you can tell it to move. You can tell your situations to be better. Mm-hmm. You can speak that into your spirit, into your life, into your practice, into your patterns. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, more peas. That's what you can do. <laughs> into your performance. Into, into your performance. Into your persistence. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Into every place that you enter. Do you know that you can send an, a, a, a set an environment before you enter into the room by uh-huh. sending the energy over there before you get there? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So that is how you make mountains move. You prepare. <laughs> 
for those who don't know that, <laughs> how would you do that? Like, let's say that you walked into, like, not even just the studio today. Right. Like, how would you, you went into work or whatever? Well, the how? most powerful P of all the P's that I've been talking about is prayer. Okay. And okay. so I there prayed my way into uh-huh. this. I prayed before, you know, as soon as I got up, gave thanks to the Lord for the day. I said, Lord, I have this day that I have to speak and say things. So please prepare my words. Uh, let everything I say be acceptable for you and all that. And then I just sent him. I said, go in there, Lord. Make the room safe for me to enter let there be nothing but love and your energy in the room and just um, make it a safe place and I do that with the trains Lord get on that train be the conductor let this guy be alert not on his phone texting you know Mm -hmm. at every other stop make sure that we get to our destination let there be no one on the train that's a sacrifice Mm -hmm. let us all get there in one piece Mm -hmm. I do this This is a practice it's practicing it it's a lifestyle for me and it's it's intentional because God is intentional when he does things for us Mm -hmm. he means to do it so why not be the same for him why not give him the best of our practice, the way we're, we're, we're conducting our lives? So that's how um, I, I, I manage that. I prepare. Preparation is necessary. Mm. It is. We, we, we have to prepare for things. <sighs> Mm-hmm. Leslie, it's been so great to have you here. I, <laughs> Thank I just, you. I can't. And I know I'm over my time. Thank oh, you for oh, no, having not me. Even, I'm no, sorry. No, 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 no. Don't apologize about oh, time, but please. I could go on and we on. We can go on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> There's been some episodes that have been a part two because I refuse to cut any part of their conversation out because the conversation was so important. It's so, so natural. It's flowing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Of Thank course, you for, for making this energy right and comfortable. Thank you for being you. Just being... You, you know, I, I, I feel safe around you. I feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. And that's so important. It's hard to do this type of job where you're an interviewer and you have somebody in here and you, you have to be able to make the person feel comfortable so that they can divulge, so they can release, right? Mm-hmm. So you get a good segment, you get things. But if, you know, you're shy or you're afraid to ask those those questions that you might think might set something off, you'll never get you know the beauty of what what's supposed to be yours and this is your show this was your idea this is your thing mm. and you're going to get the best out of it by what you put into it and you did a great job thank you for the questions you've asked thank <laughs> you for picking my brain oh um, my god thank you for just having me here to do this and to support you i'm i'm all for it anything you have to that has to do with wellness and healing i'm all for it that's 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 as they say my lane that's yes. that's that's my that's important. Yeah. I think that's important. I think everybody should actually take some time to actually consider that. Yes. As a part of their regular preparation for their day. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Thank you. Um, let me ask you one last question. Okay. Um, if you knew someone who was going through something similar, who has gone through something that you may have gone through, what's the one thing that you can take, you would say to them that you would hope would stick with them? Ooh. Now it doesn't uh, necessarily have to change in that moment, but something that sticks that rings in their head that you know. Yeah. Mm. Oh, just to have trust, but it's so much easier said than done. Mm. It's hard, but to trust the process. Ugh. Trust it until the end, mm-hmm. and I and I would promise them that they would have a story to tell. Hmm. about how they overcame you have to trust no matter how painful no matter how scary Mm -hmm. trust it don't be afraid to be afraid right there that's it don't be afraid to be afraid yeah (laughs) leslie where can everybody find you (laughs) oh well right now you can follow me on instagram Mm -hmm. at leslie st julian oh that's Mm l-e-s-l-i-e-s a I N T J U L I E, not A E N. Leslie Saint Julian. That is where you can find me. That's the only social media platform that I am on. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm building. That's where I'm growing. That's where I will share what's going on with me. I do have something very special for you all on nine nine nineteen. Be on the lookout. It's going to help you properly package your pain and that is all i will say about that all right 919 919 guys yes yes <laughs> well 
thank you again so much, Leslie, for for coming on. Thank I, you. I, I'm so appreciative of you even like taking the time to oh. take this seriously. Oh, yes. And to really like get out of it, like the project itself, like the purpose. Mm-hmm, absolutely. And I feel like you've accomplished that. Good job. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. I love <sighs> peas. <laughs> PJ. Yes. Okay, okay. And on that note, guys, um, just the same thing. Um, I say the same thing every single time. Everybody has a story, and every story deserves to be told. So reach out to me and let me know whenever you're t- ready to tell your story, and we can chop it up. All right. So on that note, okay. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, that was amazing! Yay, we finally did it. Yeah. Double, 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 oh yes, that was so much fun. I could talk. All right, guys, forever. if anybody wants to be a part of this project, you are more than welcome uh, to email me at the Dear You Project Podcast at gmail.com. That is T H E D E A R Y O U. P R O J E C T P O D C A S T at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you guys. All right. Others have asked me to do other shows and things like that. I said, nope, I owe somebody an assignment. And so I need to be available. And whenever that time comes, that's who's going to get it first. So, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you doing that and me allowing yeah. me to be your first, yes. um, your first interview uh, on yes. this type of level. Dear you, I know that you are well. I've seen you and watched you all of your life. I'm so happy to finally say that I know you better. I'm glad to see that you turned out to be even more amazing than I imagined you would be. I feel so blessed to have you as a friend. Dear you, I just want you to know that if no one else has ever told you, because they haven't, remember that God has always showed you. I love you because he loved you first. Love me. Girl. Girl, girl, Leslie, Leslie. Oh. Mm. <sighs> you okay? Yes. That was beautiful. That was God. Oh. I. Okay. All right. Okay. Catch moment. Okay. Ooh. How'd that feel? It felt good. It felt good because I need to tell me more how proud of myself I am. <sighs> and we as people don't have to wait for anyone to receive our accolades. Mm. Mm. My mother has always told me is one thing you have to do in life is qualify yourself. You don't wait for anybody to tell you that you're good enough. Get all the credentials you need for whatever it is you want to do. So when you walk through that door, you're prepared. Mm -hmm. And if you cancel yourself out, that's because you know that you didn't prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. But don't let anybody tell you no. You make a yes before you walk into that door. You know what it is. If you know it's not yes, Mm -hmm. then turn yourself around and go get what you need to do so you can always get that yes in everything. <sighs> and so I fail to tell myself that oh. I am good enough. Oh. I am qualified. I am proud of myself. I've worked hard. I've earned this or that. And if it's not for me and I don't get it, either I didn't prepare myself or God said I have something better and mm-hmm. he closed the door. Mm. You just spoke so many. You just spoke so many <laughs> volumes to me while you read this. I was just sitting there. Oh my gosh! I, oh, yes. I hate to have you read it again. It's okay. Oh my it's god! It's very helpful. It's oh. it is so. Uh, you know, there were a few. There's a list of people. I'll be back on the show again, hopefully. Yes, honey, you'll <laughs> be back. There's a number of people I want to write a letter to, but I, it starts with me. 
And so I chose to do it to me first. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to use a portion of that, but I, what we just did just now, and I'll just put that at the end because okay. this, this is this whole thing. Got it. I'll see how I, how it sounds. Um, I got lost. I just got lost in it because I I know exactly what you were writing to and how that wow. how that feels. Okay. 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 So now I'm just gonna actually just take because there are some things that I'm like these are great conversation pieces. Okay. Um, take just a, a few bit of notes of stuff so I can like quote exactly what you said. Okay. Um, the only thing is don't say Leslie. Okay, that's I didn't. It. I didn't. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the only thing. Only because the the way your letter was written, don't the say surprises Leslie. at the end. Yeah, yeah, I mean, not even not even that, but just the the idea of that touches that touches people. Okay. And that right there, anybody who's listening to that, mm. anybody who's listening to that can get a word. Mm. Okay, amen. Let's preach. Let's preach to the choir. <laughs> preach to everybody you did that you Let's did go. that all right amen. all right so go ahead um <clears throat> do it again and nine times nine yeah. times out of ten mm-hmm. i might just keep that first one i'll just replace the i'll cut it out but okay. this is just so for purposes okay because if you even if you don't get as emotional as you did the sec the second time oh. around it's okay you know <laughs> it's okay <laughs> that was just, okay 